Hey guys, Ultra Maximus here. Like my videos? Please consider buying me a coffee. Thank you so much for the support. It helps me continue making content that you enjoy. Hey guys, Ultra Maximus back with another pickup video today. I've got a combo video. I've got a uh, toy haul pickup, a flea market finds a video, and an unboxing. So I figured I'd do it all on one video since I kind of got them all within two days. So let's take a look at uh, what I picked up. I was at a local Walgreens in Greenwood, Indiana, and I found this guy, Morun, the Vampia. Ho, 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 ho. Of course, this is part of the Sasquatch build. I haven't seen these figures in a while. I got this guy uh, because I wanted him for 31 Horror Toys in 31 days because, well, he's a vampire. Uh, it's, he comes with two heads on there, but they look almost exactly the same. I kind of wish the alternate head was like more of a an open mouth with the fangs. I think that would have been a lot more fun, but eh, he's a vampire and that'll be fun for Halloween. And then I stopped at my local Kroger Marketplace in uh, Greenwood and uh, found a uh, Transformers Authentics Soundwave. I've not seen this one on the shelf yet. Um, I've gotten into these figures uh, for some reason. It looks like it's based off of the Cyberverse Soundwave, uh, that, uh, that mode. So that's kind of interesting. I really do like the chest on that. Unfortunately, uh, the, the deck's not going to open up. But yeah, it is what it is. And then let's take a look at our flea market finds real quick. So I stopped at my local flea market, the Emporium 31 on the south side of Indianapolis here in Greenwood. And I went over to the $5 bin. So five figures for five bucks. Let's see what we scored. All right, here we go. All right, so uh, first up, the best figure out of the bunch was actually this uh, Siege Spinister. Uh, he is complete with his weapons. Um, that is flipping awesome. I mean, it's in really, really good shape. Uh, $1 for this figure in the dollar bin. I, they just obviously didn't know what they had, um, which is pretty cool. Now, I've already got this guy, and I just couldn't pass him up for a buck. I mean, he's going for 30 bucks loose to 40 to $50 in box. And I thought I was gonna do something with a custom, but um, after talking to a friend of mine last night, Joe, uh, he actually missed out on this figure. So I'm gonna go ahead and give it to him since um, he wasn't able to get him on the store shelf. And uh, I know he was really, really looking forward to that guy. So uh, there you go, buddy. Um, it was a buck. So that was pretty cool. And then I found Battle Cat, and this is from the 2000X. Unfortunately, he does not have his um, little harness on there, but I believe this is actually from the McDonald's Toys is where I think this is from because I do have the McDonald's He-Man right here, um, and I'm pretty sure that those two go together. If you guys know, leave a comment down below. And then I found a Mr. Fantastic figure, and I'm not really sure um, which series this goes with. This is definitely a Toy Biz. It is loosey goosey goofy, but uh, I love an old school figure. So um, if you know which set this goes to for um, the Fantastic Four, definitely let me know. Have not Googled him yet. And then I picked up uh, this Superman figure. I think this is from Batman versus Superman. Might be from Man of Steel. Um, and I got him just to do a custom with. Um, so yeah, he's gonna be customized. And then the last figure I got was an old uh, Spider-Man animated series, Battle Damage Spidey. Um, just because we don't see Battle Damage Spider-Man figures like this anymore. Uh, we need a Marvel Legends like this. I think that would be a lot of fun. So yeah, those were the five figures that I got for five bucks. Pretty fun, pretty cool. I like them, especially the um, Siege figure there. That's pretty awesome. So finally, let's take a look and see what we got from Big Bad Toy Store. All right, so this was a pre-order um, that I forgot about actually until they told me it shipped. And dun, 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 dun. Wow, this is kind of in a big box. All right, let me get this out of the way. 
And here we go. We've got the Eternian Palace Guard. This was a figure I would have loved to have as a kid. So he's got the Palace Guard helmet and armor there. And then it comes with an alternate uh, Man-at-Arms armor and head. So if you want the old school Man-at-Arms, uh, you've got that head there instead of the one with the mustache because the toy did not have the mustache. The cartoon did, the Origins does. And some people don't like the origin heads and some people like the original heads and there you go there, there there it is so yeah this thing looks pretty cool definitely digging that for sure i don't know if this is an exclusive i don't know if target's going to get these i got this obviously from big bad toy store um, i have not seen this anywhere else if you know if this guy is an exclusive somewhere, leave a comment down below. So yeah, some pretty fun stuff. Uh, what have you guys picked up lately? Um, I would love to know. Uh, leave a comment down below or uh, hit me up over at Facebook. You can always post uh, pictures of your collections and uh, links to your videos. I would love to see them, so would everybody else. You can follow me on Instagram at Ultra Maximus Reviews or Twitter at Ultra underscore underscore Maximus. And as always, look for more videos in the future. Hey guys, thanks for watching. To watch more Ultra Maximus, click on the links to the right. Be sure to click all the things, subscribe, like, and hit that notification bell for new videos. And follow me on all the social medias, Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. Links in the description below.